Hey guys, this is Box22, and today I'm going to show you how to get the C36.7i for Railworks. Um, this is the download page of where to get the model. I'll leave that in the description. And uh, to download this, all you got to do is go to this link or whatever, and uh, click on the, this right here, and it will take you to a page that looks like this and you're going to want to click this download button right here don't click anything else but this download button alright so when you get the file it's going to be saved as a raw file so you're going to have to have some sort of program to open a raw file um, I use WinRAR but um, you do whatever you want for that you're going to get the assets folder right here and you're going to have these two folders and what you're going to do with these two folders is you're going to go to your Railworks directory that will probably be in your hard drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Railworks, and you're going to go down here where it says assets. And then you're going to take these two files and just drag them in there. So now you have the actual model in the game. And basically you're done, but you're not, because when you put these models in the game, the sound will not work. So I will show you how to enable the sound on these models. So uh, what you're going to want to do on this on the main dashboard or whatever, go to Build. You're going to have to do whatever route you want to pick. Um, for this, I'm just going to do the um, Mariah's Press. Okay, and I'll uh, just put new scenario. You're not really creating a scenario, we just need to get to scenario editor to enable the assets. And if you just hold on a second, let this respawn real quick. And I'm just going to call this test and create. Alright guys, so now that we are in Scenario Editor, to enable the sound, um, what you're going to want to do is go here, go over here to this center thing right here, find this little blue box, it's a little small one right here, click on that, it's going to bring you this little tab on the side, and right here you're going to have all your assets. So you're going to find the two folders from the download right here and you're going to find them in here so here's the china folder you're going to want to check off those little boxes right there come down to the other one and check them off as well so now you have the asset enabled on this route so now you'll be able to drive this locomotive in a quick drive scenario or free roam scenario or whatever and you will have sound um, you only have to do this once, but you will have to do it for every route that you have. So, yeah. So, um, I'll just go ahead and place one. When you get the locomotive, you will have a default paint scheme that looks like... That looks like this. And I don't believe I have that in... It looks like this right here. Yeah. But there is repaint available for this. And I will leave some links in the description to where you can get some various repaints for this locomotive. So now I'll go ahead and launch it in a quick dry scenario and show you the show you the locomotive. Alright guys, so here we are in a quick dry scenario. Um I built the little consist. If you notice, you will spawn in a in the cab of an ST40-2, and that's just because when they built the model, they did not build an interior. So, but you know what? Oh well, it's free. So this is the outside. This has a CSX repaint. You will not get this with it when you download the download the model. Like I said earlier, you're going to have that default paint scheme. So, um, this model has amazing sound. 
And um, I guess that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it works. So, uh, I'll see you later.